If you have an older Detroit diesel, one of the two strokes, uh, 53, 71, or 92 series, and you are adjusting, running the rack. So you check the exhaust valve spacing using a go, no go gauge, and then you adjust the injectors. I've seen a lot of people do that, but I've never actually seen anyone show really close up what you're checking. What you're checking is the distance between the base here as a reference point on the injector and the top of the plunger. And you can use a pin like this that goes into that little tiny hole. And so right now, this is a 0.1484 gauge. So not a 0.1484, 1.484. So that is actually measuring the distance in inches between this shoulder or that reference point and the top of the plunger. This little reference gauge, which, there we go. So now it's all the way in. So that's 1.484 inches and this plunger would have to be depressed down to there by the rocker arm, which is what you're adjusting. And then you want to set this so that just barely wipes across the top when it's seated all the way. And you'll see down here, it is not seated all the way. Another method of doing it, and what prompted me to actually do this video, is you can use the snap-on, what is that, the M3558. They don't make these anymore, but you can still get them. They're not cheap, but I think they're worth it. So it's magnetic and it sticks to the top of the plunger like that. And then this base attached to the dial up here, the dial indicator will tell you how high this plunger is above this reference point. And the reason I thought about doing this is because I need to recalibrate this. When it's touching down here, it should be pushing the plunger up to about half its travel. This dial indicator only goes one revolution. And when you take it off the base, it should swing back a half a revolution, which mine is not doing. So I'll bring it down here. and lower the gauge down until it's about half a revolution and then I tighten it. So now when I take it off, it should be half a turn back from where it was. So to calibrate it, and I just loosened it. So when it's off the gauge or not touching, it's there. And when I put it on, I want it to go about a half turn up. So I need to raise this up just a bit. Tighten the thumb screw. So it goes back half a turn. In other words, from here, it's half a turn low I put it on the base and I should be about there. I want to make sure that's snug. And now I turn the face until I'm at 1.500. In other words, inch and a half. Now it will measure below that point if I'm low, and then above that point another half a turn. So if I were to put this on, that's an N70 injector, if I were to put this on the injector in the vehicle on the rack, now I'm at, was it?
I would need to bring it, push the plunger down till I get to where I want to be. Anyway, and that is done with the rocker arm, which fits in here and is going over the top of the that thing. <laughs> anyway, you'll see that in other videos and I'll show you that sometime. But here's just a close up of how this works and a couple different ways of doing it. But you're just measuring the top of the plunger here off this reference face down here. Just to close this out because if you search online for these instructions, I don't see them anywhere. Sorry about the dirty nails, I've been working. So here's the little instruction book that comes with this. You can take screenshots if you want. Printed in 1984. And they're still running. They're still out there. We've got a bunch. Great engines. Anyway, thank you all. Have a great day. Keep on trucking or bussing. <laughs>